are talking about the cell lab with diffusion and osmosis. We have already done part one where you looked at your human cheek cells. I only posted your class. Yours were outstanding. Did you see them on Instagram? Okay. And then you did part two, osmosis with your egg. Could these things show up on your unit exam? Yes. Okay. Part three is dialysis tubing observation. So open up your lab notebook because this part, number one, we're working with dialysis tubing. Here, let me show you this dialysis tubing. When dialysis tubing is dry, it's, did I show you this before? It's just like paper, it feels, it's crunchy. But once you get it wet, okay? Once you get it wet, it's more flexible. And all you have to do, and I just set it in a beaker of water, all you have to do is kind of run it between your fingers like this. And then the dialysis tubing will open up. And I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put this up on the board so you can see. Uno momento. There you go. Okay, so right here, am I under? There we go. So you tell me if I screw up, okay? If you can you see the dialysis tubing? How I'm running it between my fingers, and it's open on either end. Sweetheart, will you come up? I'm gonna need you to help me tie some string. I'll show you. Yes, I need you to help. Don't let me. Okay. I'm grabbing you because I know you don't care if I put you on social media, right? No, I don't. Care. Okay, so come around here. <laughs> okay. So once you have it, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be using this to model a cell but, and look to see what solutions can move. Cause remember it is a semi-permeable membrane, right? So some things can pass through and some stuff can't, right? So in order to learn how things are moving, I'm gonna, I have you demo on this spot plate. So let me go to this spot plate right here. Okay, so I'm talking about this part right here. This is what we're going to fill in, and that's what I'm going to show you here on the spot plate. And um, the first one is starch, and what is starch's initial color? So, do you see my gl oh, glasses? Sorry, to let it in. So this is glucose. This is starch right here, and I'm just going to use this syringe, labeled starch. Okay, and can you see the starch in the syringe? What color would you say this starch is? Clear. clear. Okay. So kind of clearish white. It's right here. Can you see it? Okay. And then um, I'm going to mix some starch with some iodine. I want to show you what the iodine looks like. So here, here's a bottle of iodine. So I want to show you first what it looks like by itself. I'm going to put it somewhere else. Can you see the iodine? What color is it? Yellow. Yeah, yellowish orange. So now I'm gonna put some of it in the starch. Are you ready? Can you see how the iodine changed colors? So that's your hint. When starch and iodine are mixing, the iodine is gonna turn that dark blue kind of color. Okay, dark blue. So starch plus iodine is dark blue. Okay, next thing I wanna show you is some um, glucose test paper. This is used for like urinalysis. Oh, sorry, I grabbed a, a different one, but I can see the glucose is on there too. It's the third one down. It is, I'll grab one more. Do you see that blue one right there in the middle? that one this one is like for a urinalysis test sorry now glucose test paper okay so here it is right here 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 it is just plain nothing on it okay now I'm gonna take one of these and I'm gonna dip it into glucose so this right here is glucose 
So did you write a color down for the glucose? To, it's like a, what would you say? Like a blue green or blue? Blue? Sky blue. Looks blue. Sky blue. I like sky blue. Okay. So now I'm going to dip it right into this glucose. And I'll put it next to it so you can see it. Are you noticing a difference? Yeah. Yes. So it's turning green. Are we okay with that? All right. So now we know how to test for glucose and we know how to test when starch and iodine mix. So now I need to set up our little fake cell. So what my assistant's gonna do is help me tie it off. And so I'm gonna take this string right here and she's gonna loop it on the end when I try to make my cell and she's gonna loop it on the end for me. And then here's another piece of string for the second one. Okay, so I'm gonna take this dialysis tubing right here. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Okay, I'm gonna take this dialysis tubing and am I in your way so you can't see? Let me sit down. Okay, and I'm gonna close one end of it off. So I'm gonna just twist it and fold it back and then you come over here and slip that knot on there. And then do one more. Okay, and then what's gonna go inside this bag? Do you remember what's gonna go inside this bag? What does it say? Here, I'll help remind you. Look right here. This is what we're setting up. What's gonna go inside the bag? Starch and what else? There we go. Yeah, starch and glucose. You good with that? Okay, so that's what that's what I'm setting up. And so next. Okay, I'm gonna just put that starch and glucose in there. So at this end, there's a little opening here on the end and I'm gonna just put the starch and glucose in there. Trixie. Okay, and then can you suck up some glucose for me? Use that syringe in there. So here's the starch, slipping it in the end here, putting the starch in there. Perfect. Now I'm going to add the glucose. Now we know glucose is starting off in here because we just put it in here, right? Can you see it okay? Okay, so then I'm going to tie off the other end. Oh, can you let's see? Won't move. It's being weird. Oh, You got it? Oh, perfect. Am I in? I'm in. Okay. So we're gonna tie off this end. Okay, we're ready for you. My such a good assistant. Okay, go one more. Then once you've done that, I'm gonna have you go rinse it off real quick. Okay. So she's gonna go rinse this off so there's nothing on the outside. Here is my beaker of water. What needs to go in my beaker of water? Look at your lab. What goes inside the beaker of water? What? IKI, that's iodine. Okay, so I'm gonna put some iodine in here. So do you remember how you had to do that drawing of what's initially inside? So it's iodine and water, and do you see how it's all kind of this orangish color? All right, so when you look at your table on your substance, beginning location, iodine is in the beaker. Glucose is in the? Where's glucose? It's in the bag. Okay, where is starch? In the bag, okay? And that's what we know right now, okay? Perfect, okay? So now I'm gonna take a look at the bag. What color is the bag? Clear, okay? The bag is clear. So now I'm just gonna put this bag inside of the beaker, and then we're gonna look to see, it's funny how there's a delay, how that changes. Okay, so 
while we're waiting a little bit, you could look to your, um, your drawing that you need to do. Right, this drawing right here. And so you could color this, right? This is clear. And this is kind of that golden brown. And then you're gonna do your drawing after on the other side to see how it has changed. Yes. How are we supposed to color? Are we gonna use colored pencils? Yeah, you can use colored pencil? pencils on the copy and on your original. Absolutely. Okay, do you see anything happening here in our bag? Take a look at our bag. And you can come in closer. Or are you seeing it? Okay, there. Yeah. Look at your bag right now. Do you notice anything? It's blue. It's blue. How did it become blue? What had to happen? You saw it before, right? Not magic. It was clear before. The beaker, has the beaker changed its color at all? No. no. Has the bag changed its color? Yeah. yeah. So when you look at, at where things are traveling, right? When we look at the color, and I'm going to move this over just a little bit here, our visualizer. Okay, so on our ending location, okay, iodine. Is the iodine still in the beaker? Yeah, because the beaker is what? What it's color is this beaker? Yellow. It's, still it's still yellow. So is the iodine still out there? Mm -hmm. Yes. Has the iodine moved, do you think? Mm -hmm. Do you think it moved into the bag? What would be the evidence? What would be the evidence that it has moved into this bag? Color change. Color change, because you know starch is in there, right? And what happens when starch and iodine mix? Blue starch. Turns blue. So you know iodine must be small enough to get through the little holes in this bag, right? Because it made the starch turn blue, okay? Now, so ending location, right? It, it's in, still in the beaker, but it's also in the bag. Okay, glucose, we don't know about. How would we need to, what would we need to do about glucose? What do we need to, I agree with you. What do we need to do? Okay, so do we know that it's still in the bag? But did we put it in the bag? Yes. And, it, and the bag hasn't changed much, right? So I can undo the string, but I'm betting there's still glucose in there because we just put it in there. So our question is, so we know glucose is in the ending location. We know it's still in the bag, but we want to know if it's in the beaker. beaker. So we'll test it, right? Yep. Okay. Put a pin in that because I'm going to let it sit in here just one more second more. And let's jump down to starch. Is there starch in the bag? Yes. You know, because it turned what color? Blue. 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 Is there starch out here in the beaker? No. How do you know that? It's not blue. If starch could get out of this bag, starch wants to go from a higher concentration to a lower concentration, right? If starch could get out of that bag, it'd be out here in this solution, and then what color would this beaker be? Blue. It would be blue. So we know starch beginning location was in the bag, and its ending location is in the bag. So the only thing we need to do is test for glucose. So I'm going to take another glucose test strap. This is its initial color. There it is. Do you see it? So it's okay. And then I'm going to just put it in here. See if there's any glucose in there. What color do we see? Green. We see green. So is there glucose out in the beaker? Yes. 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 Okay. And that's your demo.